Hey guys, today's project, we're gonna go ahead and set up a pillar. I'm using MDF material. I got a hole saw kit from Harbor Freight. Fairly cheap, it was $14.99. As you can see here, I'm cutting the rings out for the outer and the inner for it to sit in place. I'm just gonna go ahead and not say much, but you could pretty much see it self-explanatory. Here after I cut the rings, I went ahead and started sanding the jagged edges so it could be smooth. After the sanding, I went ahead and used a hot glue gun to uh, hold the rings in place. So I went ahead and cut some uh, sticks from the stir stick, about two inches long. Here I'm trying to figure out how I want it placed. Once you figure that out, then you take the hot glue gun, put a spot on it, hold it, let it dry, and continue on with the next steps. As you see here, I went ahead and started adding the sticks behind it. I was cutting them to size so that way I'll have that angle that I was looking for on this uh, pillar. On to the driver's side, same scenario. See where you want to have it located, the direction, hot glue it, and proceed to the next step. Here after you went ahead and found location and direction, I went ahead and pulled the measuring tape, got a point, got the measurement, went to the patch side and pulled the same measurement to match them up. Take your time, don't rush, it's part of the project got to have patience, got to have patience. Here I decided to sand now versus previously. I didn't want the hot glue gun to not be able to stick to the pillar because of dust.
here I'm trying out the Loctite. It's a uh, 200 mid. Now you place the cloth over the pillar and try to find a proper spot to start. I'm going to tell you, this was not easy for the very first time. It looked easy on everybody else, but it's not as easy as it seems. Um, just try to do the best you can. Eliminate as much wrinkles as possible. So the reason why I'm using glue, I'm putting it on the edges. Um, when you use the resin, it tends to have a reaction to the adhesive and it pulls the cloth and the plastic apart. So with the glue here, it tends to keep it in place. I do recommend you get super glue. I tried Gorilla, but I think super glue be best. Um, you guys could try it out. So here, after applying the resin to both parts, I went ahead and laid them out in the sun so that way they could cure faster. While that's going on, I'm setting up for the next step.
Here I went and placed the resin first and then the fiberglass mat that I had cut previously to the speaker area only. After applying the fiberglass mat on the pillar, I went ahead and placed the pillar out there in the sun so it could cure. And I proceeded with the next pillar. After applying the fiberglass, I sanded it all down. I mixed up some rondo and I applied it on the pillars. As you can see on the pillar on the bottom, it's got rondo. The one on top, it was sanded down and I put spot putty over the pinholes. Getting ready to sand. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, just leave it at the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe, share the video, and give me them thumbs up. Once again, this is in my garage. See you on the next one.